Hi, everybody. Hey, it's Ryan from CDH for another Five Minute Friday. Set reminder in five minutes to end Five Minute Friday. Okay, I'll remind you. Awesome. So that's a great example. We use timers and things that trigger us to do other actions all the time. I do that with my phone when I'm trying to boil and cook food for my kids and when I just need to remember things. We, so we use timers that trigger us to then do other things. The cool thing is Microsoft Flow has a whole series of timers that are built into it or things you can use to trigger, okay? So that's what we're gonna look at in this Five Minute Friday. So the old school technology that we've used in SharePoint in the past to trigger types of timed based events has been one of two things. Number one, we've used what's called an information management policy and you old school SharePoint people, you know what that's all about. Basic, you set a, a duration and a start period, a start date of when you want that to then wait. So like, for example, a uh, document last modified is my start period and it says wait one year and then we then, in a year from now, it would then trigger a workflow or some kind of operation to then review the document, approve it, and get it reviewed. So think of like a standard operating procedure, an SOP, and just get reviewed on an annual basis. We've used, traditionally, I've used that IMP to make that happen, super simple. But you also have the other operation of here of using like a scheduled workflow. So you say like every night at 5 p.m. I needed to take these documents and move them over to this place or I needed to go query SQL Server and then bring it bring this data point into a, a SharePoint calendar in case if you weren't using BCS. So those are kind of the old school kind of ways. So as I'm looking into Flow, kind of our new modern kind of workflow engine, I'm like, huh, I wonder how this works. Okay, so it works a little bit differently. So we found, I found that there's two items we can use. There's a new trigger you can use called reoccurrence. So that's the start. That's basically like the scheduled workflow. It's kind of a one for one relationship. So I can set, hey, on an annual basis, on a monthly basis, on a daily basis, or vice versa, trigger the set of, flow, of these actions and it'll automatically then kind of do some work for me. That's fantastic, we love that. Okay, the other one is a delay. Delay is not a trigger, but it's just an action. That means the workflow got triggered from another operation, like let's say a document was uploaded or an item was created or somebody tweeted something, okay? Those are triggers Flow has ability to listen for. And then it says, let's now wait, okay? So this is really good for the context of like sending out reminders. So I use this often if I need to uh, send out an approval and we now are waiting. Okay, like let's say the, the approval, they're being really late. They haven't actually signed off on the approval. So I'm gonna wait two weeks if, they have, if the approval is still pending. Okay, then we send off another reminder. Okay, and then we can send off on, on a cyclical basis. But that delay then gives me the ability to, hey, like, wait a day, send another email, wait another day, send another email. And if I'm feeling really, really kind of aggressive, I'll say, hey, let's wait two minutes, send another email. <laughs> okay, so that's basically the delay operation allows you to be a spammer. All right, so that's kind of interesting in all of itself. So those are kind of our two new modern. So I want to give you a little demo of showing you some of these things in action. Okay, so the first demo I'm going to show you guys is an action of a delay. So here I have a standard SharePoint library, okay, and I have some documents put into here, and I've set up a trigger, okay, a flow called annual review, and it's an example of a delay, okay? And so the way it works is when the trigger is when the item is created, let's wait, and here's one operation of your delay. You just give it a period of time. So this here, wait six seconds. Okay, and so that's really cool. Then you can also have another delay. This is operation one. The second kind of delay you can have is what's going to wait until and where you put it in a date. Okay, so what I found there is if your field is a date only, so this is an example that has a date, has no time put onto it, you had to fill in this little extra little format to indicate the particular time. So I had to figure out, hey, T000000Z, that's the time. I figured that out the hard way because it error. So, but if you had date time field that had both points in it, you could just fill it in. But then I also put in this compose in here that says, hey, let's add some, let's see if we can have it like do a calculation. You give it a date, add 30 days to it, and then, hey, let's then come up with a date and then we'll delay till that particular date. 
So that's my flow. So let's see it in action. So we do a little upload of a document. We'll do test five, document five. I don't know you guys, I do a lot of testing, so I just preemptively made a whole bunch of test documents. Okay, so it put the document in. I go over to here to my flows, and it's gonna tell me the run history, and I just love the screen, I just love the screen. It tells me that's currently running, and if I click onto it, we can watch the execution of it. So the green check box means it worked, it worked, it worked, it's waiting, it worked, and I think there's another one over here. It erred. Yeah. Okay. And I'll show you why in a second. So let's look at the item properties. So that means, hey, it triggered, it recognized that it got triggered, it delayed. Fantastic. Is able to do my calculation. It shows me what the output is. It tells me here it is waiting for June 25th. So it's a little wise from now. Today's it's 22nd. And then here's the delay. It's also then waiting for, and it's the exact same time. All right, now let's look at this arrow over here. So part of this is that it says the provided wait period until, and it gives me the day period, is not supported within my consumption SKU. The maximum number is 30 days. And that's one of the limitations I found, is that with any of the delay operation, it's going to cut you off at 30 days. So five seconds to 30 days, doesn't matter how I did it. As soon as I made it wait longer than that threshold, it goes, ah, you can't do that. I'm like, okay, fine. All right. And so that's what's happening there. So pretty good example there. All right. So then I was like, well, how do I do like a, like an annual review concept? So then I'm thinking, well, I can't use a trigger and then wait a year, right? Let's have it actually that the triggering is the actual timing. So that's what I have here. I have a reoccurrence test. So let's, let's, let's dive into this guy. So the way this works is the trigger is the reoccurrence, and you can set it up. So wait one day, okay? And that's the interval, but it could be day, month, year. And then you give it a time zone. You give it a start time, and you can specify – how often, how frequent you want it to re-trigger itself. So this is the scheduled reoccurrence kind of scenario. So once a day, check to see if these documents are overdue, ready for the annual review, and then start to trigger off some kind of approval process. Excuse me. So that's the reoccurrence. So then I have, uh, let's go get all the files. And then for each file, we can update it and say, hey, it's now ready for review. And then which would trigger a secondary process. So that's my workflow that I have here. And so I tell you what, let's test it. Now I love this feature of flow that I have a test. And then I don't have to actually upload a document. I can say, hey, let's just, um, I'll perform the trigger action right now. And we'll say run this workflow. Like let's say the interval is now. Okay. And we'll see the workflow activity. Let's see it actually work inside of itself and see if it works. Okay. So it succeeded. That's good to know. That's good news. And we can see the reoccurrence, get a green check all the way through. So get file properties. And it shows me for each and tells me what the update was. Okay. And the simple basic thing, what it did is I had it see this log field. I said, I want to loop through and then just update this log column, which is a single line of text. Really basic, but you could do a more complicated type of things. And let's refresh this. And look, there it got updated with what was the uh, it was the review time, it looks like. Put the review time in there. Okay. But the cool thing is now that's set to run every – let's have a look at it. I forget. Every interval, once a day, it's set to run and then do that operation. And so that can basically do a nice little analysis that, hey, is this document ready for review? Yes or no. And every day I can check. And then that can then trigger a second workflow, which is then the approval. So guys, pretty cool. One of the cool things we're able to do is you're able to set up reminders, okay? Just like, hey, Siri, hey, Google, set remind me to pick up milk at 5 p.m. today. You guys can also do the same thing with Flow, where you have two major oper operations. You have the delay, 
wait a period of time, but it was triggered by some other operation, like creating a document or creating a list item or something happened in Twitter or some kind of triggering operation. But then you also have the like scheduled reoccurrence, something that happens on every day at every little time. So I do that for like, if I need to take medicine, if I'm sick, I'll, I'll set myself a reminder. So, oh, take that antibiotic so you don't forget. So there you go, guys have it. This is Ryan with another five minute Friday. If you have questions, Okay, or if you like what you saw, please tweet us at CDH Tweets Tech. Uh, and you can also get a hold of me at RyanC at CDH.com. And also, you can get a hold of me on Twitter. I'm also on LinkedIn. I'd love to connect with you. So, thanks a lot, guys. And we'll see you next week. Bye bye.